North Central football took the field at Benedetti Worley Stadium for the second straight week, looking for yet another dominant victory. Fall is very much in the air in Naperville, with the Cardinals gearing up for another battle with CCIW foe Illinois Wesleyan, who were coming off a shutout win over Milliken. The first break of the night went to the Cardinals. Tanner Reigns' punt is muffed by Mark Matos, and the Cardinals recover the fumble. Angelo Cusimano coming up with the football and setting up great field position. The Cardinals, as usual, cashed in on the turnover. Luke Lanin rolls out and finds Andrew Kaminsky, who somersaults over a Titan defender for the game's first touchdown. Kaminsky is no stranger to making great plays against Illinois Wesleyan, and the Cardinals led 7-0. Later in the first quarter, the first of several big defensive plays for senior Dan Gilroy, who bursts off the edge for the sack of Titan QB Sage Schindler. First play of the second quarter with the Cardinals in striking distance, and they go back to the well, lane into Kaminsky. No acrobatics needed this time as he strides into the end zone, lane in putting the pass on the money. Wesleyan, though, would respond on their next drive, an Anthony Murray 19-yard touchdown run, making it a 13-7 game, which would be the score at the half. Would the Cardinals finally be tested after several easy wins in a row? Well, not really. Opening drive of the second half, and Luke Lanin fakes out everybody to give himself a leisurely stroll into the end zone, and the Cardinals would spend the third quarter stepping on the gas. Next drive, Lanin on third down finds Kaminsky, who goes full extension to move the chains. A few plays later, Terrence Hill goes around the left side and straight to the end zone. North Central's lead quickly growing to 27-7, with over six minutes still left in the third. The Titans trying to keep up, but on fourth down, Schindler is hit as he throws, and they turn it over on downs. After missing last week's game, Ethan Greenfield returned to action, and look at the power in this run, dragging Titans with him for a big game. But it would be Hill again to finish the job on this drive, lunging forward just enough for the score. Take another look as the offensive line gets the push they needed, 34-7 Cardinals after three. You'll remember the Cardinals scored on the first play of the second quarter? They did it again in the fourth. Lanin down the middle, deep again this time to D'Angelo Hardy. Six points for number six. Always a good reason to dance, with the Cardinals up 41-7. Next Titans drive, and here comes Gilroy again. A huge night for the big man. Six tackles, five total for loss, including three sacks. And why not another touchdown for Terrence Hill? 54 yards on this one, his second week in a row with three scores. Jake Johnson also got in on the act again this week. On the option run, he decides to keep it himself for the final touchdown of the night, which he celebrates with his best D'Angelo Hardy impression. A punctuation at the end of another great defensive performance, an interception for D'Angelo Roberson, his second in two weeks. The Cardinals shake off a slow first half and charge past the Titans to move to 7-0. North Central 55, Illinois Wesleyan 7. Honestly, all that credit's got to go to the scout offensive line. Uh, every single day in practice, they just come in with their heads down and they get after it. And uh, honestly, if it wasn't for those guys, we wouldn't be able to do what we do on Saturdays. I think we just went into halftime and Everything kind of clicked, everything came together. Um, we fixed things we needed to fix and came out here and executed. I'm, I'm not sure it was necessarily a change in scheme or anything. It was just, we just relaxed, we just like reset, and we just went. I mean, we just kind of turned it on a little bit. We buckled down, our old line got going more, and we just started beating them up. It feels really good. Honestly, we just tell each other, continue to raise the bar. Uh, we continue to grind in practice. Uh, when it comes to halftime, we continue to tell each other to continue to push, to continue to do our jobs and do our one of 11. So, you know, we do our one of our 11. We continue to get the result that we need, that we want. 